The holidays are a wonderful time to share your wild harvest with friends and family. So I'm here with Chef Jim Kimberg from Delwood Country Club, and today we are getting wild in the kitchen making a holiday presentation of a French elk rib rack. You got it. All you right. It. So what makes this a French rib rack, per se? <laughs> it's all about those cleaning of the bones that gives that fancy presentation, and that's what makes it French. Awesome. Well, what are the first steps getting started? Uh, we're actually going to reverse sear this today. So it's going to go low and slow in an oven. We've got our oven set at about 275. We're going to rub it with a little olive oil, and we're going to season it with a little salt and pepper. Let's get started. All right. So we're going to get started by just taking a little bit of olive oil. We're going to rub that into the elk roast. And that olive oil not only seasons it a little bit, but also helps that salt and pepper stick to it. So Awesome. Generous? Yeah, you can be pretty generous with it. Don't be How's shy. That? Are you doing great? There you go. Now we have the back side? We have the back side, so let's flip it over. We want the back side to taste as good as the front side. Of course. Chef Perfect. Jim is all about two seasonings, yeah, salt right. and pepper, and that <laughs> is it. Don't forget it. it. <laughs> Not asking a lot here. <laughs> Voila. There you go. Time for the oven? Time for the oven. And reverse searing means low temperature and slow cooking. Low, slow for a longer period of time. So we have the oven set at 250 degrees. So low and slow, how much time does this need to stay in the oven? It's going to be approximately 30 minutes. The goal is to get the internal temperature up to 100 degrees. That's about a three pound roast in there. So approximately 10 minutes per pound. But I do want to check it a little early just to be sure we don't overcook it. Never overcook it. Never, ever <laughs> overcook it. So it's been about 25 minutes, yes? 25 minutes. All right. Woo, look at that. We're going for 100. Looks like we're just a little bit over, which is fine. Um, but yeah, we're looking great. So we've got our uh, cast iron skillet. Pretty ripping hot, like medium high heat. See a little smoke coming off there. And how much olive oil did we just put in the pan? Uh, three tablespoons, close to a quarter cup. So now we are going to kind of lay this rack you know, top side down. There's the sizzle. There's the sizzle, exactly. Put the second one in. And Perfect. how long do we sear those? Just a couple of minutes. We just want that little crust of color. We're going to bump up the flavor just a little bit with some shallot. A little bit of garlic. And then some fresh herbs, yes. We're just adding another layer of flavor, that little hint of what is that? That's fresh herbs. All right, moment of truth, Laura. Let's see mm -hmm. how we did. That is so going to be perfect. Hopefully, if we did this right, it's that perfect medium that. rare, just juicy. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. As you gather around the table this holiday season, you can go ahead and share your wild game and memories with family and friends. You ready for a taste test? I'm ready. So good. It's real good. Merry Christmas from the Minnesota Bound family to yours.